Hello, BuilderDude35 here, and today's tutorial is going to be all about worm gears. So first things first, what is a worm gear? A worm gear is a spiral shaped gear. The tooth makes a spiral around basically a cylindrical shaped object. And when in a worm gear mechanism, you have a motor that directly drives the worm gear and the worm gear in turn moves its motion into a circular gear, the more traditional type gear. Now I'll show that in action right now and I'll get to the advantages of using the worm gear. So here's a little video snippet of the worm gear in action. So why should you use worm gears at all? Worm gears are used in any situation where you need a lot of driving torque and speed is not very important. So anytime you're moving a heavy load, because what worm gears do is they provide two things. The first is gear reduction. As you'll see here, it reduces the speed of the motor, but it gives it a lot of torque. Like you can put a lot of weight on this and it can still move it. The second thing is that it eliminates any sort of recoil. You see, I can't move the mechanism with my hand, I can't rotate it with my hand, but the motor can do it. So it will be very ideal to use it for moving heavy loads. For example, a few years ago in FLL Senior Solutions, there was a mission, it's, I think we call it the weightlifting mission, where there was a lever that the robot had to lift up and it had too much weight on it. To, for a regular unaided robot motor to lift. So what my team did is we devised a little mechanism that used a worm gear and it could very easily pull that bar up. And that's the power of the worm gear. So I hope by now you're very pumped about worm gears and you still have one question left in your mind. How do you build them? And I'm going to show you that right now. So here are all of the parts that you're going to need to make one worm gear box. And now I'm going to go step by step with pictures to show you how to assemble your worm gear. And as an added bonus, you can integrate any worm gear into a dog gear system to make your attachments completely modular so you can take them on and off in seconds. Click this annotation here to learn more about dog gears. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please click like. And if you would like to see more videos like this every week, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.